subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell icon. Thank you. Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be giving you latest updates happening in NDDC. My wonderful people, NDDC probe is getting very interesting as Sidato Ababio names federal lawmakers involved in NDDC contracts. The list containing names of senators and House of Representatives members involved in the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC contracts has surfaced. The Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Goswil Ababio, submitted the names up to the National Assembly Committees probing the activities of the Commission last Thursday. The list was part of a letter the Minister sent to the National Assembly and also copied the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami. However, following the alleged failure of the lawmakers to read that part of the letter, the National Youth Council of Nigeria presented the document to the media in Abuja on Sunday. In Ababio's letter, Senator Peter Nwoboshi was involved in 53 projects why Senator Nicholas Mutu's name appeared on 74 projects. Also, named in the list are Senator Matu Rogidi, who has six projects. Why James Manager appeared in six projects also. Sam Anyangu appeared in 19 projects. And others simply identified as Ondo and Edo Reps. Senator Babu addressed the letter to the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, who had threatened to drag him before the court if he fails to name the lawmakers that had benefited from NDDC contracts. The letter read in part, I refer to the resolution of the House passed on the 21st July 2020 and forwarded to me on the same day ref.nass slash hr slash leg slash 3 slash 36 slash volume 2 slash 08 directing me to respond to the contents therein within 48 hours. In the letter, the minister explained that the committee on NDDC did not allow him to provide detailed explanation of his claims that most contracts in the commission were being awarded yearly since 2001 to members of the National Assembly in both chambers. He said, however, that the two chairmen of the committees in both chambers had adequate knowledge of the contracts. I never referred to the members of the Ninth National Assembly as beneficiary of NDDC contracts as NDDC is yet to fully implement any NDDC budget since the commencement of the Ninth National Assembly. In fact, the 2019 budget passed in February and harmonized between 4th and 5th of March 2020 was received by the Commission in the middle of April 2020, when same was designated to expire on the 31st of May 2020. Ababio continued. However, it is pertinent to point out that the clerk of the National Assembly forwarded a letter, Rev NASS slash CNA slash 115 slash volume 38 slash 1178, dated 20th March 2020, without attaching the budget details indicating that the 2020 budget of the NDDC passed into law was being forwarded. This anomaly was brought to the attention of the Senate Ad Hoc Committee investigating a purported financial recklessness by the management of the Commission in July 2020. Though the first outcry was an allegation of missing 40 billion naira, which was totally untrue. It has always been known that the two chairmen of the committees on NDDC in both chambers yearly exhibit unusual influence to the inclusion of committee members and even the management of the NDDC in appropriating funds to details embellished 
in the budget after passage of line items at the plenaries. In the 2019 budget, the executive director projects forwarded to me the attached list of 19 numbers old contracts amounting to almost 9 billion naira after tax that the House of Representatives Committee Chairman on NDDC, Honorable Tunji Ojo, insisted that IMC of NDDC must pay before 2019 budget details could be released to the Commission, he said. To show you some typical examples here, with attached are documents showing nature of contrast, amounts of such contrast in some cases, date of awards and beneficiaries. Some were awarded to two chairmen from both committees in the House of Representatives and the Senate, respectively, serving at the period of the award. However, due to the 48 hours notice, the forensic auditors could not stiff through the thousands of files in their possession to provide more. The above explanation would have been made if the investigating committee did not shut me out from responding to the abuses on me by the lady representative called Boma. May I assure Mr. Speaker that as a former minority leader of the 8th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I shall forever promote the ideals of the National Assembly as an institution. Hence, I would not make the attached documents public since I obtained the documents from the lead forensic auditors in confidence. Find attached annotations E and F be my request to the lead forensic auditors and their response. Permit me to explain that any reference to 50% or 60% during the investigative hearing was in answer to a question by an honorable member of the committee as to whether or not a medical doctor could act as executive director of projects within the confines of the NDDC at 2000. I answered in the affirmative, pointing out that the greatest project in the world today is COVID-19 pandemic, which is medical in nature. Furthermore, I am made to understand that 50 to 60 percent of the NDDC yearly budgets are medical in nature. Therefore, it is fitting for a medical doctor to act as executive director projects in these trying times. Please accept, sir, the assurances of my esteemed regards and do pass my explanation to my colleagues in the Ninth Assembly who probably misunderstood my assertion. All right, my wonderful people, this is all the news we have for you coming from NDDC. But before I would like you to drop your own opinion, permit me to make my own opinion clear to you. Okay, my wonderful people, if you can recall that, angered by Ababio's bold claim, members of the House have demanded that the minister name the involved lawmakers within 48 hours. Within the time frame, the minister sent a letter to the committee, which was read as a retraction to his previous claims. In the letter, Senator Babio was said to have denied accusing members of the National Assembly of collecting 60% of the contracts in the NDDC. As you can see here, my wonderful people, Senator Babio has finally released the list containing those that were given the contracts. I don't really know when the corruption in this country can end. If you can see in the list, you will see so many names there that you don't even know that they might get involved. I can't imagine. Though every day in this country we talk about corruption, corruption, corruption. But it's really those in the head that are causing the whole corruption. Can you imagine the names that are here? James Manager, Sam Anyang, Matthew, and so many others. I don't know when the federal government will need to take action. I don't know when they need to see that the corruption in Nigeria is not leading any headway. That is only those in the offices that are corrupt. All they do is to fold their hands. I don't know when Buhari's government realized that they are so corrupt to a fault and we can't do this again. A country run by thieves and bloodsuckers, how can it ever progress? Over 100 NDDC projects for just one senator alone and the projects end up not being executed. Both the giver and the receiver of the contracts knows that it will never be executed. 
I don't know now, so so thief will get for this country. I just hope that the federal government will do something about this. And if they are not willing to do something about this, I just hope that one day God will vindicate all of us in this country and make things better for all of us. All right, guys, this is my humble opinion. I would also like to hear your opinion. I want to know how you feel. I want you to pour out your grievances on the comment section. I would like to see you soon. Okay, guys, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and do it to turn on your notification bell icon to get notified whenever we make any upload. See you in my next video. Thank you.